Isaac Newton is regarded as nothing more or less than one of the finest scientific minds in human history. His pioneering work in physics, including the three laws of motion, and his comprehension of the awesome force of gravity laid the foundation for scientists from Albert Einstein to Neil deGrasse Tyson. This is called gravity. So the fact that he predicted the end of the world might be cause for some alarm. Of course, you wouldn't expect someone like Newton to get involved with prophecies, but while he was first and foremost a scientific powerhouse, a learned man of Newton's caliber was deeply immersed in other fields too. Notably, he wrote at length on matters of religion. As reported by the Newton Project, he meticulously studied the Bible, writing in-depth treatises on subjects such as the history of Christianity and the nature of theology, as well as the gods worshipped by the ancient Greeks, Romans, and Egyptians. And of particular interest to a ravenous and probing mind like his was the meaning of the Bible's various prophecies, such as those in the book of Revelation and the book of Daniel. For centuries, believers had tried to decipher its weird messages, which gave Newton a fitting challenge. Could he use his scientific methods to make sense of it all? According to The Express, mysterious writings of Newton's were discovered in 1969 in the home of Britain's Earl of Portsmouth, a family distantly related to Newton. This treasure trove of assorted Newton scribblings contained one particularly alarming little doozy. Newton had, in fact, calculated when the world would end. How did he do this? Well, in this particular letter, written in 1704, he claimed to have determined the year the world would end by studying the Book of Daniel. According to Newton, quote, The ruin of the wicked nations, the end of weeping and of all troubles, will take place in the year 2060. Or at least it wouldn't happen before then, as he cryptically added that the world, quote, may end later, but I see no reason for its ending sooner. Ironically, Newton said that he was making his prediction about when the world would end to try and put a stop to all the other random people making their own predictions about when the world would end. Needless to say, that didn't work. In fact, other people would actually use the same passages from the book of Daniel to come up with their own doomsday prophecies. The King James Bible version of the passage reads, Swear by him that liveth forever, that it shall be for a time, times, and a half. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. This bit about a time, two times, and half a time is repeated in other biblical texts, including the book of Revelation. Newton was part of a school of thinking that interpreted biblical prophecies through a historical lens. These historicists typically translate the phrase to mean a set time period, namely 1260 years, a figure that lines up with other prophecies which mention the number 1260. The big question that has plagued all soothsayers like Newton, though, is when the beginning of that 1260 period was, or will be. Newton decided that the year 800 AD would make sense, as it was the year the Holy Roman Empire was founded by Charlemagne. Using that as a start date, we get an end date of 2060. Pretty simple, right? Sure, assuming Newton was correct. However, lots of religious groups and leaders have interpreted the same prophecy in the same way over centuries, only they've chosen other beginning points that have seemingly been proven wrong by the world not ending. Other potential end dates have come and gone. 1572, 1798, 1866, and 2016. Despite that, each of these interpretations still have their adherence, which means that Newton was wise in covering himself by saying the date 2060 might not mark the end of the world, but simply the beginning of the end of the world. And since there's no way of knowing how long it will take for the world to end, there's really no way to say whether his prediction or any of the others is actually wrong. Making a prediction that can't be proven wrong? Hey, we told you he was one of the smartest people ever. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more grunge videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.